Emily Blunt's hubby, John Krasinski, crashes her Oppenheimer press tour. I think it's going pretty well for me. <laughs> Emily has been busy promoting the upcoming flick with her co-stars Killian Murphy, Matt Damon, and Robert Downey Jr. But I can perform this miracle. World War II would be over. Our boys would come home. This is not a dusty old biopic. This is a experience. This is like a bone shattering experience. It's so much more than just an account of what happened in his life. And it seems like M's famous hubby might be having a little bit of FOMO because he keeps crashing her cast events. It's starting to bleed into extracurricular. We're hanging out. Yeah, Robert shared a video montage of the cast leading up to the French premiere in Paris, and John is all over it. In front of the Eiffel Tower with M, her sister Felicity, her brother-in-law Stanley Tucci, and Robert, and on the boat cruising the Seine River. Yep, Emily straight up puts John in a quiet place for interrupting her chat. In a, a quiet contest between you and John, who would last the longest? Me. That's what he said. He's such a chatty Cathy. No, I would do well. I would do well. And earlier this week, Robert shared this cast photo featuring, yep, you guessed it, John. And here we are. I always try to deliver on my promises. I had to come out. The actor captioned the post, quote, linking up with my Oppenheimer castmates. Wait, is that a Krasinski photobomb or might there be a surprise cameo? It was bananas. Seems safe to say the cast was super tight. In fact, when E.T. chatted with Emily, she described their time on set like summer camp. It's unusual for all the actors to be on location together, and we were shooting in this really remote location in the middle of the New Mexican desert, and there was one hotel and we were all together, and that doesn't happen. Normally everyone's in their own place, or you're, you're shooting at home, or everyone's got their own house, and you don't hang out, and there was one restaurant. That was it, and we all went to have dinner. That was it. And it wasn't like the kind of restaurant food, that was you know? open 24 hours. Uh -huh. It was like open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And so yes. you were always, it was like the dining hall. You'd go in and you'd see everybody, and so everyone would just end up sitting together. We had dinner every night. So many margaritas. So to be fair, we get why you wanted in on the fun, John.